Alright, so for this trick, <clears throat> the spectator can take the deck of cards, and they can shuffle as much as they would like. Now, when they're done shuffling the cards, they would hand them back, and I would say, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two piles here, but each pile needs to have 26 cards in them. So let's start with the first pile here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. There's the first pile. Let's make sure this pile has 26 also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So both piles have 26 cards in it. So now what we're going to do is make three piles here. So how we're going to do that is flip over the top card of each pile. Now we have to add each of these piles to 10. So if we have a 10, Jack, Queen, or King, those are already worth 10. So we have two Kings here, so those are 10. We don't need to worry about them. We have a 3 here. We need to add that up to 10. So we will go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we have 10 plus 10, which is 20, plus 3 more, which is 23. So now I'm going to let you know right off the bat here that the 23rd card will be the 10 of diamonds. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Remember, the deck was shuffled. You saw how we made two piles of 26 each. We had the three cards laid out, and we added those up, and we got 23. I said the 10 of diamonds. And right here, we have the Ten of Diamonds. That is today's trick. If you would like to learn how this is done, be sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a different trick. Because I actually got this trick from this book here, called The Magic Book by Robert Mandelberg. So if you want to, you can take a screenshot, a picture of this, and look up the book. But this is where I got the trick from. So I thought I would just upload some of these tricks on here. Now I know this one is actually on the internet, but I'm going to show you what comes in this book. So here's what comes in the book here. So you can take a picture of that. Here's the next page for what comes in the book. And this is actually the first trick in the book. And this trick is called... Memorizing the Deck. Right here, the first trick. So, I'm going to be showing you how they do it. Now, I'm going to show you a few add-ons I actually played around with and I found out you can do. So, without further ado, let's get into how this is done here. So, the first thing you're going to need right off the bat is a deck of 52 cards. So, make sure you have that. If you don't, the trick isn't going to work. So I'm going to show you a few ways how to do this. The first way is how I did this. So I handed the deck over to the spectator, and I had them shuffle the deck. The next thing I did was I told the spectator I was going to make two piles of 26 cards for each pile here, which you're actually going to do, but it's something you're going to have to do. So I would say at the beginning, when you deal, you're going to want to deal pretty quickly, and here's why. You're going to be dealing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven. Remember the seventh card in the seventh position. In this case, the king of hearts. I'm going to leave this face up so you can see how this works. Now you can deal out loud or you can deal in your head. It doesn't matter. So we have seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You're set with that pile. Now, you don't have to deal out this pile, but the spectator is... If you want to convince the spectator you do have 26 cards, you can. Or you can just set these down. So I'm just going to set them down. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to have to take this pile when you're done dealing it and place it on top of the first pile you dealt. Now, remember, this pile actually has your card you're going to remember, the King of Hearts here. So you're going to place that on top. Now, you're going to take the next three cards from the top. If you want to, you can spread out the deck. But don't go too far because you don't want them to take that king or any of the cards beneath it. So in this case, we're going to take the top three cards here. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add these up to 10. Okay, so I'm going to do something here so you can see that this actually works. So, going to take out... A uh, ace, a jack, and we're going to do a 10 right there. Okay, so let's actually put the, let's switch this with a 2. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we should be good here. So you're going to tell your spectator that if you have a 10, jack, queen, or king, that is already worth a 10. So you're not going to do anything about it. So we're going to leave that off to the side. Now, since you have a 2 here, you're going to deal starting at 2, okay, so 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. So we have a 2, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The thing is, when you're dealing, you don't want to go, since this is a 2, you don't want to do 2, 3, 4. Since this is a 2 already, you're going to go 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. Hopefully that makes sense. And then an ace is 1. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's the only really move you have to do. You're going to be adding up these piles, but you're going to need some justification for stacking these piles on the bottom. So how I do this is simple. So I go, okay, 10 plus 2 is 12. So you see how I put the rest of the cards on top. Then I pick them up while adding. So 10 plus 2 is 12, plus one more is 13. And now you're set. So you're going to deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It will be face down. You're not going to deal 13 and then flip over the next card. You're going to go 12, 13, the king of hearts. So before I deal, I go over the whole trick. Deck was shuffled. You selected three cards and we added them up. So when I get here, so I know I'm one number before the, the number that we added up here. So since we're 13, I stop at 12. I say, okay, my prediction was the king of hearts. And I remind them what it was. So I go 12, 13, the king of hearts. Now, if you want to, you can have a piece of paper off to the side of the King of Hearts because he made two piles, and then you can say, okay, let me make a prediction here. King of Hearts. That's one way you can do this. Now, another way you could do this is maybe you don't want to do this from a totally impromptu deck, 
So what you could do is before the trick even starts, you could put the king of hearts in the seventh position from the top. And then maybe you have a joker. So here's a joker. And you're going to have it split into 26 cards. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 right here. So then you can either spread to your joker and then put these down or you can deal because it's really not going to mess up anything. But then you can go on with the effect from there. So that's one way you could do this. Here's one more way I thought you could do this. So let's use the king here. Let's say the deck is shuffled, what have you. So right there. And then they select a card. Let's say the king of hearts. You could actually control this card to the seventh position. So you could do that with a bluff pass or a Marlow tilt. So let's say they remember in the King of Hearts here. I'm going to pinky count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right there. I take the king and I say, okay. So how about right here? We're going to place your card in. And now it's going to be in the 7th position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you will proceed with the trick. So I'll do this trick one more time. So let's say we control their card. And then you don't want to deal face up. Because they might see their card in the 7th position and get suspicious. So what you could do is you could go in groups of 3s. You could go in groups of 2s. Groups of 5. Whatever you want. But you have to get to the 26th card. So we'll go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25, 26. And then, if you want to, the spectator could shuffle this half, but they cannot shuffle this half. Okay, so that's another thing. And then you place these on top, and then you proceed with the trick here. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have uh, four, king, and three. So you explain we're going to add up these cards to ten. So since we have a king here, this is already worth ten. So we have a four, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to add these up while stacking these piles here. So 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. And then you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Why well, I say 15? 15, nope, 16, 17. Okay, 17. You go over the whole trick again, and then you can show the king of hearts. So, that was the first trick in the book here. I hope you enjoyed this trick. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know other tricks you would like to see. That's it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another trick from this book here. That's it. Bye.